we are Melody Fang, Rachel, Howard, and Paganini. We are, we are talking, talking about Aboriginal Australians. Where in the world? Aboriginal Australians are indigenous people from Australian continent. They spread out around Australia, and usually we found Aboriginal Australians in Queensland, New South Wales, and sometimes Tasmania. There are travelers from Africa 40,000 to 120,000 years ago. But why do the Aboriginal Australians decide to live in Australia? One argument runs through that they need to walk to Australia because of the low sea le level during one of the sea ice ages. Stories and legends. Aboriginal culture is based on the concept of the dream time. The dream time is the time when all things on earth were created. During the dream time, our ancestors' spirits journeyed across the wasteland that was earth. The story will be passed down to their children. Most groups tell two stories. The ancestor spirit is the first, and the second one is about the rainbow serpent, also called the great rainbow snake or mother snake. Hi, my name is Hagani. I was first talking about the past of the Jewish Australians. About 50,000 BC, the Aboriginal Australians came to Australia and slowed down. At 1770, when the British came down, and all the traditions and culture was destroyed. Aboriginal Australians did not like that. So they came to the East, and that is why they fight. Of course, the British guns are no match for boomerangs and spears Aboriginals used. In 1992, that is what the British Australians say that Australia is a Aboriginal land. Now, I will tell you about social structure. For Aboriginal Australia, the land is more than just rock and grass. It is the whole system that supports life. The land is the center of spirituality. The main idea of the social structure is that they must always respect the land. Now, I will talk about communication. Language was not used to figure out different Aboriginal groups. The message stick was an important way to communicate. They communicate with the message stick by holding the stick up into the air with their own group's totem carved on the stick. These totem would identify different groups. The message stick help groups to communicate and stay together in peace. Laws and order. Aboriginal Australians' laws were created by spare words. Aboriginal Australians respect each other and nature because they don't want to be punished. Members in a group treated their group members like a family, even if they are not related blood or marriage. Special roles were given to each member, depending on their age and gender. Usually, women gather food or cook, and men hunt. Now, I will tell you about celebrating culture. Original Australian cannot talk or write about their ceremonies because there are sacred rituals. In each ceremony, there are people whose job is to memorize dreamtime stories. They need to memorize every part or every place in the dreamtime story. Aboriginal Australians have different types of ceremonies. Some are only for men, some are only for women. The Aboriginal Australian sing and dance in the ceremonies. Aboriginal Australian music has lasted for thousands of years. Now, I will tell you about art and culture. Aboriginal Australians use art to tell their ideas. Men will paint their bodies and in colorful types of mud and wear emu feathers. Stories were told through songs, dance, clapping, and click sticks. Rock art is by Aboriginals. They use the image from animals, plants, and spirits in their artwork in caves, on cliffs, and on rocks. Now I'll talk about what they wear. Aboriginal Australians are not ashamed of their nakedness. They feel free in the nakedness. Body adornment is always an important part of their culture. 
they did not wear clothes in summer times. But still, some groups wear were belts made out of animal skins and fur to carry tools. A long time ago, when European settlers arrived to Australia, many many Aboriginal Australians were forced to wear old clothes. There are many different types of symbol symbol designs for all ages and different groups and and ancestors. Some girls would cut a hole through their noses or ears and wear bones or a piece of wood through it. Animal bones, fish bones, and feathers are often used for decoration. Now I'll talk about food and fun, what they eat and what they do for fun. Aboriginal Australians often eat animals, plants, and insects, such as kangaroos, fishes, lobsters for animals, bees, ants, bugs, scrubs, lizards, moths, for insects. They eat sprouts, raspberries, sweet potatoes for plants. In the Aboriginal culture, sports and entertainment are both connected to tradition. They often play activities including climbing, climbing, running, jumping, and throwing. They compete against one another in games like animal tracking, boomerang throwing, and many more. Now, I will talk about great ideas. Aboriginal culture is connected to the natural world. The didgeridoo is a traditional instrument that Aboriginal Australians play during the celebration. The sound changes and it depends on the size of the didgeridoo. They play dreaming songs, funeral songs, and hunting songs. For the other example, Aboriginal Australians don't live in houses. Instead, during the mosquito season, they build huts and with grass and bark. They lit small fires in the huts to drive insects away. On 1988, when it is Australia Day, original Australian took a day of mourning. It was the day that European settlers arrived to Australia. But Aboriginal Australians think it was the day that they lost their culture and freedom. So a large group of Aboriginal Australians had the march of mourning. They held up signs that says, what's there to celebrate? It was the day many people realized that original Australians had crisis to face and they are on the mood of strategy and that's when people started doing committees. That day is also called Australia Day protest. Do you know the Aboriginal Australians are finished with the problems so they needed some things to recover the problems from the past. So they had to debate with the government. Because the government told me to said sorry and did nothing else. I was all pleased that hope the Aboriginal Australians and monies do not have enough money. So Aboriginal Australians told the government we accept your apology. But money can't be more. However, the government said an apology is enough. They were a crisis of the past and you need to go over it. I think the Aboriginal Australians are right. It's like you kill the person and you release it. And the, this picture is one of the communities that help the Aboriginal Australians. It is called Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander. Thank you for listening. The end.